I'm Rory Odegaard. I work for Plant Sciences Incorporated in Watsonville, California. We are a plant breeding and research company working in the small fruits, strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, and some other crops. And I am involved in the uh, active plant growing consultation as a PCA. Here in Watsonville, Salinas, Santa Maria, and in Southern California, we farm primarily strawberries and raspberries. Before we started using PrevAm from Oro Agri, we basically had the standard surfactants and insecticides and fungicides in our program. In the early 2000s, we had a field that was uh, bordered on two sides by what we call two-year strawberry fields. And these are carryover strawberry fields that bring with them chemically resistant insects, primarily ligus. So in early March, April of that year, we realized we had ligus populations that we typically don't spray for until late May, early June, and we had to treat in March. And uh, we found out very quickly that the most potent chemistries we had, like lanate, were killing maybe 50% of the population. So we began searching for a solution. And that's when we came across Prevan that was being used by a, a, a vegetable grower that also grew strawberries for us. Chemically resistant ligus was the problem. In other words, you've got ligus that were carried over from the previous year's spray season. And with the amount of I would say carbamate, organophosphate, um, some other chemistries, those, the exposure to those chemistries selected a very uh, resistant population of ligus. There was no reversion to susceptibility, therefore you wake up in the new season with chemically resistant ligus that you can't kill effectively to control. We use vacuums as well to control the adults, but it was just too much. So we started out using straight Prevam with the standard spray rig, and we found that just straight Prevam at the higher rates, more than I would say 50, 60 ounces per 100, with the standard rig, we could kill up to 60% of the ligus without any other chemistries. Since then, we've, we've learned how to use Prevam and the other products like Oral Boost as the organic product, we've learned to use them in conjunction with our softer insecticidal materials to go after both thrip and ligus. So we've been able to implement it and with the additional benefit that it does suppress mildew uh, in our experience. And we've, we've moved to use with standard rigs to the low volume sprayers, electrostatic sprayers and air assist sprayers. We've gone to a every other spray, sometimes that's every other week, sometimes that's every third week, depending. It's in all the sprays with our electrostatic and low volume sprayers when we we're spraying for thrips using the Spinosin products from Dow. We found even in conjunction with the Dow products of the Spinosin type chemistries that we also can kill not only thrips and worms, but oftentimes we'll kill nymphalygus at the same time in conjunction with Prevam. Um, so every other spray is typically when we're using it and it goes into all insecticidal sprays. And where we have high uh, mildew pressure, it's in the spray tank every other week. No, especially with the low volume sprayers, we found there's no, no issues and the only times that I had problems in the past was when growers applied on a hot day with a full volume rig at you know 50, the low rate, 50 ounces per 100. And there might've been a little marking on the fruit. But since then we've really, there's a few growers that will use it with the full volume and that's anywhere from 150 to 200 gallons of spray material per acre. There are some that are comfortable using it, but most of our use pattern is with the low volume sprayers. There's a, tremendous amount of safety, we'll, it, we'll go to the high rate, the 0.8%, which is 100 ounces per 100 gallons with uh, no issues. 
And so I would say we've been using Prevamp safely for, gosh, it's 2000 through 16. That's been 14 years or more, about 14 years. And it's just part of the program.